Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I want to be solving capsule and tablet dosage calculations using the desired overhab method. And after you get done watching this YouTube video, you can access the free quiz that will test you on this content. So let's get started. The problem says the physician ordered two milligrams by mouth daily and we're supplied with one milligram tablets. So we need to solve for how many tablets we're going to give per dose. So we're gonna use the desire over have method. Now there's other methods you can use to solve dosage calculations. You can use the ratio proportion, or you can use dimensional analysis. And I actually have a whole series where I solve different types of dosage calculations using dimensional analysis. Now the method you use really depends on your preference and what your nursing program may require you to use to solve for these. So let's plug in what we have. So first, we're going to start with plugging in the desired part. This is what is desired for the patient to have. So this is the ordered dose that we're gonna plug in there. So we're ordered to give the patient two milligrams. The H is the have part. This is what you have on hand, what you've been dispensed from pharmacy with. So you're holding the medication, you're looking at that medication label, and you're looking at the strength of that medication. It tells us that it's one milligram. Now we're gonna multiply that by the quantity. The quantity is the amount or volume of that dosage strength that we're supplied with. So that's also found on the medication label. So here, if we're looking at this bottle of tablets, it would tell us that every tablet, one tablet equals one milligram. So our quantity is one, so one tablet equals X. And that's what we're solving for for the dose. So before we even try to solve this formula, we have to make sure that these units match up. And if they do, they can cancel out and we solve. Um, here it does. So we mark them out. Now if they didn't, we would have to take an extra step and convert, and you'll see how to do that a little bit later. So we're gonna divide, two divided by one is two, times one, we're bringing that down from our formula, equals x, two times one is two. So our answer is two tablets. That's how many we're going to administer to the patient. This problem says the physician orders 0.5 milligrams by mouth daily, and we're supplied with 125 micrograms per tablet. And we're trying to figure out how many tablets per dose. So let's plug in our information into our formula. So the first part is the D part, the desired. What is it desired for the patient to have? That is the ordered dose. So the patient has been ordered 0.5 milligrams. And that's gonna be over half, what we have on hand. So we've been dispensed with this medication, we're looking at that medication label, and it tells us that there is 125 micrograms in these tablets, so that's our strength. So we're gonna multiply that by the quantity, and the quantity is one tablet, because one tablet equals 125 micrograms. So that equals X, so that's what we're solving for. Now, we can't finish out this formula because these units right here do not match. So you always wanna double check that before you start solving. So to make them match, we have to convert, and this is that extra step we need to take. So what we need to figure out is 0 0.5 milligrams equals how many micrograms? Well, this is where we pull from that metric table that we have memorized. So we know from the metric table that one milligram is equal to a thousand micrograms. So there's one of two ways you can solve this. It's really whatever you prefer. So one way is you can just multiply 0 0.5 times 1,000, and that gives us 500 micrograms. So 0.5 milligrams equals 500 micrograms. Or you can use the decimal method, and whenever you use this, it's just a quick, fast method. Instead of multiplying, you just move the decimal. So because we're multiplying by 1,000, and we're going from milligrams, which is a bigger unit to a smaller unit, which is micrograms, we want to move our decimal three places because we're going because we're multiplying by a thousand to the right. So you have 0 0.5, so it would be one, two, three. And your decimal goes there, and 
that zero goes away, so you get 500 micrograms. So whatever method you find easier is what you would do. So we've converted that. Now we're ready to plug that fresh information we just collected back into this formula and solve. So we have 500 micrograms, which was the same as this. And on hand, we have 125 micrograms. And micrograms cancels out. That makes us happy because we know we are ready to solve. We're going to multiply that by one tablet. And that solves for x. So divide that out. 500 divided by 125 is 4 times 1 tablet. And we know that 4 times 1 is 4. So our answer is four tablets is what we will administer to that patient. This problem says the physician orders 750 micrograms by mouth daily and we're supplied with from pharmacy with 0.25 milligrams per tablet. And we need to figure out how many tablets we're gonna give per dose. So let's plug it into our formula. First, we're gonna start with the D, the desired, so it's desired for the patient, the ordered dose is 750 micrograms. And that is over H, have what we have on hand. So what we have on hand, we look at the medication label, it tells us that there's a strength of 0.25 milligrams. And we're already looking at this formula and we're like, hey, we're gonna have to take an extra step and convert because these units are not matching up. We have micrograms here, milligrams there. But we'll finish filling out our formula and we're going to multiply that by the quantity and we know that it's one tablet equals 0.25 milligrams so one tablet and then that equals x and that's what we're solving for that's our dose to be given so we're going to take that extra step and convert since we're dealing with milligrams we're holding milligram tablets we're going to convert the doctor's order that's in micrograms into milligrams so what we need to figure out is 750 micrograms equals how many milligrams? So this is where we access that metric table from our memory bank. And we know from that that one milligram equals a thousand micrograms. So there's one of two ways you can do this. It depends on what you like to do. We can take 750 and divide by a thousand. Now the reason we're dividing is because we are going from a smaller unit, which is micrograms, hence micro, to a little bit of a larger one, which is milligrams. So this time we're going to divide by a thousand. So whenever you divide that out, you get 0 0.75. So 750 micrograms equals 0 0.75 milligrams. Now, an easy trick you can do instead of having to do all that, you can just move a decimal. So you have 750, whenever you have that, your decimal is right there. We don't normally write it like that, but that's where the decimal hangs out. And because we are dividing by a thousand, we're gonna go left with our decimal movement, and we're gonna go three places because we're dividing by a thousand. So it would go one, two, three, decimal would be there and your number would look like this 0 0.75 hence like that so we have converted now we're ready to go back to our formula and solve so 750 micrograms is 0 0.75 milligrams so that is our desired dose our have dose what we have on hand is 0 0.25 milligrams our milligrams cancels out and we're gonna multiply by our quantity, which is one tablet equals X. So that's what we're solving for. So when you divide this out, you get three times one tablet, just bringing that down, equals X. And three times one is three. So the patient needs three tablets to equal that dose that was ordered by the physician. This problem says the physician has ordered 25 milligrams by mouth twice a day, BID. We're supplied with 50 milligram tablets. So every tablet has 50 milligrams in it. And we need to solve for how many tablets we're gonna give per day. So notice that this problem wants to know how many you're gonna give the whole day, not per dose. So always pay attention to what they're asking. 
So let's plug our information into the formula. The desired dose for the patient is 25 milligrams. And they're getting that twice a day, so remember that. And the H part is have, what do you have on hand? You have 50 milligrams times the quantity. One tablet equals 50 milligrams, so it's one tablet. And we're solving for that. So right there, we can go ahead and solve our formula because milligrams cancels out, they match up. We don't need to convert. So we're gonna divide, so 25 divided by 50 gives us 0.5 times one tablet. And when you multiply that out, you get 0.5 tablets. So half a tablet, but that is actually per dose because that's just one dose. They want to know how many you're giving the whole day. So it tells us that the patient is getting this BID twice a day. So each dose, so all you have to do is say 0.5 plus 0.5, and that gives you one. So the patient for the whole day is gonna get one tablet per day. Okay, so that wraps up this video on how to solve tablet and capsule calculations using the desired over have method. And if you'd like to watch more videos in this series, you can access the link in the YouTube description below.